So I have a word for you women and men. If you are going through any type of abuse, there is a high rating going on of abuse right now. But if that is what you're going through right now, God says leave. God will not send you anyone to speak down to you. God will not send you anyone to make you feel um, horrible about yourself. Will make you second guess yourself or your own beauty or your own value. God will not send you anyone to abuse you. So um, if you're in that type of situation, then you must leave. That is not a God-given relationship. God will not ordain anybody to hurt you in any type of way, mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, God has to be in the middle of a relationship, but God does not put us in a situation where we have to fear for our lives. That is not ordained by God. And I have met men in the word of God, but didn't apply the word of God. And they were very abusive, meaning they did not apply God's love to their lives. So if you are a queen and you're in a situation where somebody is making you feel downtrodden and horrible about yourself, that is not for you. No man should put their hands on you. No woman should be putting their hands on a man. It should not be a chaotic household that is not of God. So if somebody is really, truly abusing you right now, this word is for you, queen, leave. God will give you a way of escape. He did not put you in a situation to be hurt or be broken every day. God speaks life to his queens. So if you don't know God, and I'm speaking to you, get in a place where you can Say a prayer to God. God, please show yourself to me. I need help. And wait for him to answer because he will provide a way fast. And it'll be in a way that you cannot expect. You would not expect. You would not ask or think. He will provide that way for you of escape. So if you're in an abusive relationship, you God does not mean, he did not mean for you to get um, taken advantage of, to be stepped on, to be talked to any type of way. When you are a queen, this is why is it important, it is very important to talk to God, to form a relationship with God because he is the one that created you. And he is the only one that is going to pour life into you, to get you to the point where you're not feeling broken again, where you're not in heartache. He is the healer of your heartache. So oftentimes, even in my, with myself, I searched around for people to fill a void that only God can fill. And I searched in different relationships, different sexual relationships, and that wasn't of God because I did not know my value. I thought I knew my value. But I ended up in a continuous cycle of choosing the wrong people for myself because I chose out of brokenness, out of heartache, out of pain, out of needing validation from, some, from somebody else. God will give you the right person in your life to fill you up that will know your love language, that will speak life to you, not death. Words hold power. And so you even right now, you must speak life to yourself. You have to know, you have to know your beauty and your worth. And I pray right now that God will give that to you. He will speak it to you. And I speak it to you in the name of Jesus, that you are valuable. You are enough. You are loved. And if there is not one person speaking those truths to you, you need to shut those words out and definitely affirm yourself and speak life to yourself. No more talking down to yourself. That little girl that has been wounded inside of you. 
No more. It is time for you to walk in restoration, for God to transition to your, your life to greater. Men and women, I'm speaking to you. No one should be talking to you like you're trash because you're not trash in Jesus' name. Get before the feet of Jesus and I pray that all ears will hear this message and all eyes will see what I'm saying. Kings and queens, no one should be calling you out your name, putting their hands on you, making you black and blue. And when you look in the mirror, your heart, sink, your heart sinks to your toes. That is not life. You are living in death. You are living in torment. That is not the life of peace that God has promised you. Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans that I have for you. They're not to harm you, but to give you an expected end. He knows. Read it for yourself. Jeremiah 29, 11, kings and queens. If you are in an abusive relationship, leave. In Jesus' name, he will provide a way of escape. Get before him and talk to him. In Jesus' name, and I'm praying for you. You can contact me. I left the contact information below if you need prayer. If you need me to speak life to you myself, I will do it. It is time for a new life. We're in a season where you should be walking in new wine, honey, new garments and a new name. No more going in continuous cycles of hurt and pain like you deserve the abuse. No, you don't. No one deserves to be spoken to any type of way. Speak life. Speak love to yourself. We don't have to depend on anybody else for any type of validation. I hope you guys, uh, that's my son. So I hope you guys uh, get this. Um, this is a very important message of warnings for a lot of you women that have been holding on and having a hard time letting go. But when you know, when, when, you, <laughs> when you don't know what God has for you, then you will hold on to something that's not good for you. God always has greater. You just have to have the faith to let it go. Email me, like, subscribe, and share because there's somebody going through some abuse right now. All right, God bless you ladies, kings and queens.